Now this is downhill from the intersection of um, Garmisch and Thetford and um, Highlands and this is what I've got pushed up in a pile there and across the way across the way I think that's still probably snow underneath but and there is riprap under here uh, if you can find it under the sand um, uh, corner of Gotsons and Garmisch and there used to be a culvert across well it's still there but it's buried has been for years uh, since I took over um, work on the house over on the left here softened up the road enough that the following spring it just filled that culvert completely uh, we did rip wrap this a few years ago uh, and I do blow the leaves as much as possible and the, uh, the colt's foot is coming back it's nice to see despite the fact that it's an invasive but this is typical of the greater berm that I get, and ice dam that I get, um, one or the other or both, when the water can't get off to the ditch because the, 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 the snow has frozen down to the shoulder of the road. So I get, um, in addition to the, 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 uh, the plow berm, I get, uh, I, I get a, a rut from where the water can't get off to the ditch and it forms a secondary ditch. And I have that in many places here. Uh, as we can see as we go along. This is a driveway just up from Susan Fox on Upper Godson's. A uh, contractor was hired to mitigate some of the problem here. Uh, I believe a year ago I did run into him when he was working on this and uh, he uh, mitigated the problem by making it worse, um, if that's possible. And he dumped riprap uh, on the shoulder instead of creating a ditch and lining the ditch with the riprap, uh, the driveway is basically flat and uh, there's some nice riprap on the other side also. And this is like so many of the driveways here is just washing out onto the road. So This is why people build up here. And this is the result. This road actually was paved back probably in 1972. Uh, the pavement shows up through every once in a while. Um, but this is a combination of, uh, of an ice dam, uh, probably and uh, snowplow damage here uh, all the way down. You know, I've done my best to try and get the water off to the side here, but this has been a little bit difficult to grade. Um, road base is not really much of a base. It's just rocks and whatever, and a stump now and then. Um, but uh, I do what I can. The snowplow spoil piles like this everywhere, particularly at the intersections uh, here. And over there, this is an ongoing trouble spot. Um, big house, about an acre of pavement. And the water comes down off the road. And I was up here weeks ago uh, filling a washout here just so traffic could get through safely. Uh, but there's a tremendous amount of the water that comes down. I have video of, of water coming out from underneath that pavement right after it was first put in. Um, and uh, this is one of the spots where I asked to have the driveway shaped so that the water could get to um, either the downhill side or the uphill side of the culvert. Um, and it perhaps does to a certain extent, but most of it does come right out on the road. Well, I'm here on Regent Hill, just at the beginning. There's a new house going to be going up, uh, the first lot on the left. And uh, I don't remember approving this culvert. Uh, it's smaller than I would have approved. I wanted 15 inches a minimum, uh, and that looks like it's a 12. Uh, it, but uh, that's the least of the issues here right now. Uh, all the water coming off of this lot 
has probably created as much silt as half of the rest of the development. Um, and I haven't seen any attempt to, uh, to correct this yet. Still on Regent Hill. This is the next driveway up. This one has had a problem for years. There's been a lot of water coming out onto this driveway and um, somebody apparently tried to drive something fairly heavy up here. Uh, and these are the kind of issues I'm dealing with. Uh, the results of... Yeah, the puzzlement continues here. How much of this stuff can I save? How much of it's any good? Looking at much of this, what's on top is driveway gravel. What's underneath is winter sand mixed with pine needles and whatever. So my inclination is pretty much to waste it. It's not going to be anything to, worthwhile to go back on the road. Here's one situation that's going on and I'm a victim or a perpetrator or whatever. Um, there is crown on these roads, not as much as I'd like, but there is some. Um, but the problem is the shoulders are so incredibly wide uh, that it's been difficult to get the water to sheet off the shoulders where it would go into the woods here, there, and everywhere instead of being directed to one spot. Now, this is a spot where, unfortunately, I've uh, had to make a, a water turnout, and the water turnout goes right directly into the stream. So this is a spot where if this shoulder could be lowered, uh, Lord knows what's in it, I suspect it's mostly winter sand, um, that the water could sheet off into the woods everywhere and not be directed strictly towards the stream. Now I'm uphill from the spot I was just at, just slightly, and I've, what I've done here is to interrupt where that false ditch is formed at the end of that driveway, interrupted that, and tore, so I am sending the water off there. It'll still find its way down to the stream down below, but in the meantime, uh, it'll help to reduce the amount of erosion in this ditch until I can uh, get all of this area smoothed off so I can get back to just a sheeting action rather than a rill and gully erection, uh, direction here. This is a, a driveway that I graded out years ago, had the water going to each side so that the water on the right side would go into the inlet of the culvert and that on the other side would find its way down to the ditch. Um, this obviously hasn't been maintained in some time. Uh, I know there was a septic problem here. I think that got fixed. I'm not sure who the owner is, but the driveway obviously needs help. Um, it's contributing all of its water out onto the road, and uh, I'm having trouble getting, this road is so wide, I'm having trouble getting the water all the way to the ditch here uh, because the shoulder is so wide and the ditch is so far back. Um, this is probably an area that needs some real TLC. So this is the driveway that was dumping out onto the road. I've taken the liberty to reshape the bottom of the driveway so that hopefully the water will not go out into the road. Uh, be helpful if I had a little more material, but it's better than it was. This is the upper end of uh, Lansdowne, and this is why I point out that most of the sand has already been scraped off of the roads here to clear the snow, the last couple of snowstorms. So that, unless I were to go along and scrape up the snow and all, that's going to settle right down into the ditch and not be reclaimable, well, not so much reclaimed, but removed. Um, and without a whole lot of labor. This again is why people build up here.